Hey, God bless you. Welcome to the Daily Reminder. This, uh, again, gives us an opportunity on a daily basis to just be able to share a verse or a couple of verses, a scripture uh, with you just to encourage you, something that you can take through the day. Let me share a couple of verses with you. This is a real truth, and I think this is absolutely, this is for every day of our life, but certainly the season that America is in. This is just a, a great reminder for us. This is Proverbs 6, verses 16 through 19. These six things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him, a proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift in running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among the brethren. It's interesting to me that you can ask any, just any saint, any church-going individual, um, so tell me, what are, what are some of the bigger sins? What, what are the biggest sins? And the Bible says in Proverbs 3 and verse 5, trust in the Lord with all of your heart, lean not on your own understanding. But if I'm not careful, I'll lean into my own understanding about what quote-unquote big sins are. Listen, sin is sin. Anything opposite of the nature and the person of Jesus Christ is sin. But I think it's interesting here in this particular chapter, whereas you and I might, sit, might think about sexual sin or a lifestyle of drunkenness or immorality, uh, we would think about those things and we'd say those are absolutely terrible. Isn't it interesting to know that three of the seven things that are an abomination to God have to do with the things that are come out of the mouth? Three of the seven things listed in this particular passage that are an abomination to God are the things that come out of the mouth. He says the first thing is a proud look, but the next thing he says is a lying tongue. It says those... It's in the second thing, it says this, those who bear false witness and speak lies. And the third thing is those who sow so discord among the brothers and sisters of the church, amongst people. Three of the seven that are an abomination have to do with what come out of our mouth. Listen, you and I need to guard our words, especially in the season that we're in right now, because anger, frustration, rage, hatred, I mean, it's being stirred up because of some things that have been go going on in this nation for the last week or so that really need to change but people because of the anger they're just speaking and they're not speaking life they're speaking death in many ways you and i the church of jesus christ certainly in this hour we we need to be a voice of reason we need to be a voice of truth we need to be a voice that brings peace justice absolutely we need to speak out when something's wrong we need to speak out but we certainly need to be that group of people that our words are bringing life not bringing death. The Bible says in Proverbs 18, verse 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue. We have been positioned and authorized to speak blessing and curse, to speak what is, uh, 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 what, what is true and what is false, what, to speak life and to speak death. We want to be a people speaking life in this season. Listen to this. This again is in Proverbs 15, verses 1, 2, and 4, and we'll leave you with this today. A soft answer turns away wrath. But a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly, but the mouth of fools pours forth foolishness. And verse 4, a wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. Once again, you and I have been positioned, we have been given the authority and the privilege of speaking blessing and speaking life. We want to guard our hearts in this season, one more verse just comes to mind. James 1 and verse 19. Be quick to hear. Be slow to speak. Be slow to wrath. We must be a voice of reason, peace, and truth, and justice in this hour. God bless you. Catch you next time.